Five guns that will dominate the CCW market in 2024. Concealed carry weapons, or CCWs, are among the most dominant gun segments right now. I mean, it's not that difficult to understand why that's the case. With the growing number of people who are concerned about their safety while they are out, having a firearm to protect themselves is a paramount priority. Sure, concealed carry weapons are exponentially growing, as many gun makers are diving into it right now. But I suppose that you only need one or two of these handguns to keep yourself or your family safe. And if you want the best ones right from the get-go, I've got you covered. Hello, everyone. This is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I made a list of the top five guns that I think will soar high in the concealed carry weapons category in 2024. My selections are based on their overall performance, reliability, and ergonomics, as we want guns that we can carry and shoot comfortably. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Staccato C2. I just had to include a staccato pistol here in case some of you would rant that I am not including these over-the-top pistols. Specifically, the Staccato C2 is your high-end choice for a concealed carry pistol this 2024. This isn't a Gucci gun, by all means. However, it's definitely expensive. Currently, it is being sold at $2,000 per unit, so there's that. Of course, its pricing is definitely justified. The gun itself is flawless, except for its price. It performs well, and ushers an impeccable degree of accuracy for a compact weapon. It doesn't have substantial recoil as well. Everything is precise and controlled when it comes to firearms. This 9mm pistol features a 3.9-inch bull barrel on its slide and utilizes a 3.9-inch recoil master as its primary recoil system. Meanwhile, a super high visibility fiber optic front sight ensures that you can hit your targets using the Staccato C2. There's even a small Picatinny rail where you can mount lights and lasers if you want to get a little tactical. I also appreciate its polymer trigger guard. It's not just spacious, but also offers an undercut that supports a more aggressive grip on the weapon. But those are not the only things you can get from the Staccato C2. I can say that it's a pinnacle of gun craftsmanship. It comes with a hand-fitted barrel, slide, and frame, ensuring that there are no errors in their placement. At the same time, it is operated by precision machine parts for utmost durability and dependability when firing. There's also its single action trigger that doesn't only break cleanly, but resets shortly too. This crisp trigger is the best on its line thanks to its smooth four pound trigger pull. And if you are looking for a flat shooting pistol, this is the one that you should pick. For a CCW, this one is quite criminal when it comes to firing qualities. There's little muzzle rise, and the recoil is almost non-existent. Across all categories, the gun gets a perfect score. Its reliability is unquestionable. It fires and fires, even without cleaning or lubrication. It's not picky when it comes to the ammo it can eat and spit. When firing, you are guaranteed with tight groupings even at 25 yards. Since this is a 2011 pistol, it boasts high capacity. The package of this gun includes three 16-round magazines. But when it comes to the value to performance ratio, I think that there are better choices than this. But as long as you are not afraid to spend big for your concealed carry weapon, the Staccato C2 should be your prime choice. Walther PDP. Now, if the Staccato C2 is too expensive for you, then I suggest you give the Walther PDP a try. This is a pistol that offers a value oriented performance. Its price is just a quarter of the C2, but it provides a similarly satisfying quality. I always see the Walther PDP as a top competitor of the Glock 19. Despite being a compact gun, it can work as your concealed carry weapon or duty pistol at the same time. And hey, there are two models for the PDP. The full-size model has a barrel length of 4.5 inches, while the compact version has a barrel of 4 inches long. There's even a 5-inch version if you want a heavy-duty defense pistol. Of course, the one I am referring to here is the compact variant of the PDP. Both of these pistols have exceptional reliability. How did I know? Well, I know these guns. All of them easily surpass 2,500 rounds without any hiccups. The compact Walther PDP has a capacity of 15 plus one rounds and features, easy to load and unload magazines. The frames and slides of the Walther PDP are modular, meaning that you can swap them so that you can find your ideal fit or setup. 
Moreover, it has an amazing grip. When holding the gun, you'll feel that it was molded for you. Its holding angle is designed for natural, intuitive shooting. The swells encompass the palm of my hands perfectly. They aren't grooves, but they work like that. Moreover, the grip texture is aggressive enough for a more secure hold. But keep in mind that PDP's most valuable is its performance duty trigger. This trigger is very crisp and offers a moderately light four pound pull weight. Of course, the trigger breaks cleanly with no over travels. And its reset is really, really short. The trigger of the Walther PDP contributes to its overall accuracy and shooting intuitiveness. Needless to say, the Walther PDP is cut for optics, just like other modern concealed carry pistols. If you are planning to mount red dots, this gun is perfect for you. HK VP9SK The VP9 is perhaps the most remarkable creation of Heckler & Koch. It is a wonderful full-size pistol, and if you ask shooters, they would really want a downsized version of this gun. That's why when the VP9SK was released, many got elated. The HK VP9SK was one of those semi-high-end handguns that offer impressive ballistic capabilities despite their small size. This gun in particular has just a length of 6.61 inches and a width of 1.32 inches. Meanwhile, it tips the scale at 23 by 07 ounces when loaded with an empty mag. If you are curious, the gun has a barrel length of about 3.4 inches, which is understandable given that this is a compact pistol. One of the reasons why I think the HK VP9SK is a superb choice for concealed carry for 2024 is because of its modularity. Primarily, you are free to configure its grip thanks to the inclusion of interchangeable back straps and lateral grip panels. Whether you have small or big hands, the VP9SK will fit you perfectly. And if that's not enough, you'll love the molded finger grooves on the grip's front. For me, these grooves worked perfectly in positioning my fingers properly, which in turn enhanced my accuracy. I believe that you can benefit from this feature too. This 9mm pistol has an excellent trigger. Essentially, it's a precision striker-fired trigger that showcases clean breaks and short resets. It can do rapid firing in a breeze, allowing you to empty its mag as quickly as possible. And it's even made better by its 5.1-pound trigger pull. By the way, the standard capacity of this pistol is 10 rounds but it is also compatible with 13 and 15 round mags. The overall accuracy and reliability of the HK VP9SK are outstanding. This is a gun that doesn't malfunction, even if it has dirt and mud on it. I was able to fire over a thousand rounds of different nine millimeter ammunition in my VP9SK and all of them fired without any problems. The gun is mechanically accurate. It isn't inherently snappy, thanks to the added weight of its construction but I don't recommend that you appendix carry this one because it isn't as slim as the likes of P365. Springfield Armory Hellcat OSP. The Hellcat took the market by storm when it was introduced in September, 2019. I really remember pre-purchasing this gun as I was really impressed by its specs and performance. When I finally got my hands on this gun, I surely was not disappointed. Several years passed and we have the Springfield Armory Hellcat OSP. The OSP stands for Optics Ready Pistol, so I guess you have an idea where we are heading right now. This particular pistol is a top-tier option for a concealed carry weapon this 2024. Despite being a micro-compact handgun, its standard capacity is still 11 plus 1 rounds, which is a round greater than the base model of Sig Sauer P365. Of course, I own several P365 pistols, so I had to compare it with the Hellcat. And just like I said, this gun didn't disappoint. It stacks up with the P365, which is a good thing, considering that I consider the Sig Sauer gun as the finest concealed carry pistol today. Furthermore, I have to emphasize that its stock tritium front sight and U-notch rear sight are among the best factory sights you can get right now. And if they don't work in your favor, then the OSP models of the Hellcat give you the option to fit a micro red dot. Surprisingly, the gun remains easy to conceal, even if you mount an optic on it. Folks from Springfield did really well on this particular aspect of the pistol. I do have to note that its trigger isn't as light as the P365, but I don't think that it is a bad thing. At the same time, the trigger of the Hellcat OSP is very consistent, which in theory could improve your overall accuracy. And speaking of accuracy, this gun is a pinpoint hitter. 
I can hit tight groups from 5 to 15 yards with little effort. It feeds well, too. Zero malfunctions in my tests. Aside from these perks, the Hellcat OSP has an aggressive grip texturing that optimizes your control over the weapon. It is a solid choice for combat situations, and I can pretty much guarantee it. Sig Sauer P365 Well, is this choice obvious? Now, many would think that there are other new guns that could supersede the Sig Sauer P365 as a top concealed carry gun, but I am not all about finding which is the latest entry in the market. As far as I am concerned, I'm about a tested and proven reputation, and that's what the P365 is bringing to the table. Arguably, the Sig Sauer P365 is the best concealed carry weapon you can buy right now, next year, and in the foreseeable future. That's how confident I am when it comes to this line of pistols. The standard version of the P365 has a capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds of 9mm. It is available up to 15 plus 1 capacity with its extended mags. These figures are already impeccable, considering that the form factor of the P365 is actually a micro 9mm pistol. Even a flush fit capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds is already a big deal for its size. To give you a context, the gun is barely 6 inches long, while its barrel is just 3.1 inches. It is an inch wide, so it's really surprising how it manages to fit a 10 plus 1 magazine. Of course, if we are talking about concealed carry weapons, this particular quality of the P365 is definitely a win-win. Needless to say, the gun is lightweight too. Despite arriving in a small package, I'm blown away by how easy it is to control this gun. After all, Micro-compact pistols tend to have snappy recoil. However, that's not the case with the P365. Furthermore, I like the grip ergonomics of this gun. I mean, I have fairly large hands, and this firearm is still something I can wield conveniently. And with an extended mag, I get more grip surface. Aside from the features, the Sig Sauer P365 has easy-to-access controls, high-quality trigger capabilities, and excellent OEM night sights. It also boasts flawless reliability and accuracy, whether you are in the range or in any practical shooting applications. Ask anyone who owns the P365, and they will say the same thing. Hence, I am pretty much convinced that this one will stay at the pinnacle of concealed carry weapons in 2024. I'm not sugarcoating. That's how good this gun is. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.